The sun danced on the water as I left Anacortes, Washington, aboard the ferry heading for Friday Harbor. I was on an assignment to take pictures of a catch-rigged sailboat called the Slow Season that was up for sale. This is a very unique sailboat. It's a bed and breakfast harbored in Friday Harbor and is also a charter ship. It's been in business for 20 years. These are the waters that it sails in. There are a lot of charter ships, this being one, in the area. This gives you an idea of the amount of people that come five times a day to Friday Harbor. To the shops, but also to go out and spend a night on the slow season. Captain Terry Sanders is going to give us a tour. <coughs> It's been a skipper for 30 years, skipper of the slow season for at least two. This is the sign, Wharfside Bed and Breakfast, above aboard the slow season. Guest cruises, slip, K-13 is the slow season. As we were starting the video tour, the people from Alaska that were actually going to be uh, staying that night came up, and so we kind of included them in on a kind of a brief tour for them. Uh, this is the stern, many seating area. There's a um, kind of a breakfast nook, uh, eat outside. Uh, lots and lots of room on the, on the stern. Uh, it's a shot of the same thing with a map of the San Juan Islands where Terry's got his hand on and he's pointing, let's go see the master accommodations. Here we are in the uh, master suite, right underneath where they were standing. Portholes and all. And you'll see as we kind of pan around, the, uh, the guests uh, from Alaska are actually sitting on the couches. And as we uh, pan further along, you'll see the uh, sink area, and I believe that there's a head in that room. Here's a shot from a different direction. Pretty spacious. We just came out of that room right there that Terry has his hand on. We're about ready to go into the pilot house. Very large pilot house, rigged out for all the safety features you'd want, and um, pretty much uh, ready to go. You can't see it right here, but there's a navigational equipment, uh, and then he'll next thing he'll go off to is um, the uh, radio equipment. He's grabbing it right now, and ship is um, rigged out with all the accommodations that's needed to be able to stay out for long periods of time. And this is uh, obviously the galley. Very classy wood vessel full galley actually. Terry's about ready to go downstairs into the uh, master living area, the living room so to speak, putting his hands on a wet bar that's right there, right down <coughs> obviously down the stairs from the galley for ice and I believe, I'm not sure, I believe there's a refrigerator right underneath um, where he's at. As we pan across the room you'll see that there's uh, seating on a table for uh, six or eight there's two couches, a chair, lamps, uh, music, um, uh, stereo equipment, uh, rug on the floor, just like um, as just like you were sitting at home, uh, except for the portholes. Uh, very spacious, uh, a lot of headroom, and uh, obviously most of the living is done uh, in this area. Right there, what you're seeing is the uh, the head, as Terry calls it, uh, shower. Uh, head and sink, all the the amenities right there, uh, just off of the master living area. <coughs> Again, a so shot of the uh, same room from a different angle, different couch, um, showing you a different, uh, you know, showing you uh, basically the comfort uh, of the ship itself. And uh, we'll pan, see the stereo, and. Uh, here we're going to end up on a stateroom that's basically going off of the master living quarters, which uh, sleeps uh, as a double bed and also a single bed. Forgive the camera jostle there, um, but it. Um, I actually like this room better than the uh, master um, uh, living quarters. It's either uh, good for a, a second couple with a child, or if it could be rented by one family, the parents up front, the kids back uh, here. Uh, this was actually pretty nice. I lost a headroom. Uh, same shot 
fame from a different angle. Terry's pointing at a chart here that actually shows you where Friday Harbor is located. And you can see that it's uh, quite a few islands. It looks pretty pretty um, jumbled up, but there's islands are actually quite a distance from each other. Um, uh, very easy passage by boat. Uh, the door to the engine room didn't get a shot of the uh, Buddha diesel that runs good. Uh, there's the shot with the door closed, and it's just under the pilot house and just off the area to the living uh, the living room again. There's some luggage, if you would call it. Looks like a, a backpacks from the people coming in from Alaska. I don't know if they're staying for a couple of nights, but uh, they're traveling kind of light. There's the stateroom, the other couch. Uh, you can see this. Uh, this is the again the galley, and um, there's the stairway heading up to the pilot house. Terry is standing right in front of an open hatch, which is the uh, sleeping quarters for the crew. Uh, sleeps about three or four. Not much better accommodations than sleeping on a hammock, to be honest with you, but it's uh, not a hammock, and there, there are mattresses there, uh, and it's either storage or uh, kind of crew quarters. Uh, I'm standing on the bowsprit at this point, looking at the uh, anchor and uh, showing you pretty much what it looks like out in the front. Terry's about ready to close the hatch to the uh, to the crew quarters. The deck is uh, fiberglass, very sound. Um, actually, the boat itself is very sound, very well taken care of over these um, many years. You have to to take care of an old wood boat. You have to basically take care of it. Uh, a lot of tender love and care. Uh, this is a catch rig, 65 foot long, not counting the metal on the end of the bowsprit. Uh, 20 foot wide, which is called a beam. Catch rig means it's got one main mast and one small mast, and it's actually rigged to sail. Pretty good shot of the uh, showing the pilot house um, as actually the main uh, um, steering housing of the ship. Uh, lots of windows, lots of open. You saw it from the inside, just showing you a shot from the outside, showing you how it kind of fits on the deck. This is a skylight area in and out with uh, provisions and also uh, air and light to the uh, living area downstairs. Top of the uh, pilot house right here with all the, I want to say, bells and whistles. We're talking radios, horns, whistles, lights. Uh, what you would need to uh, <coughs> pilot a ship in the Pacific Northwest. Um, here's a shot from one position here showing you a pretty much a depth of the uh, looking at the bowsprit, the anchor where I was just standing. Again from the same place looking back towards the pilot house showing you the walk, walk around. This is another stateroom that's basically uh, a double bed. I believe it says accommodations for two small children or for uh, storage. There's a sink. I'm not sure if there's a head. Just not sure of that. Um, you missed where the, there's two kids uh, or shelves. This is the same double bed from a different shot. Different angle, excuse me. Storage. Knotty pine uh, shelves built in. Same same area, different different angle. Low headroom in this case used to be called the fish hold because this was an old fishing boat. Uh, it's all fiberglass and it's all tight. Uh, it's kind of low uh, headroom, but um, nice. The moorage that you're looking at where the boat's moored up to has been there for years and years and years, and it's been grandfathered in. The Port, Port Authority obviously has changed the rules as the... Uh, city of Friday Harbor has grown, uh, but this ship has basically grandfathered its its way into having this special moorage, this facility to be able to get in and out quickly. Uh, if this business should uh, not be a bed and breakfast anymore, uh, the ship would lose its moorage, and there would never be a, a license for a bed and breakfast on an old wood vessel uh, again in Friday Harbor. That's why this is so unique. There's only five of its kind in the whole United States. Very sound. Very good deal. I turned around and here's the ferry boat that um, is going to take me back to the mainland. 
been kind of a short stay, taking some videos. Hopefully this has been helpful for you that are interested. If you have this video in your hands, obviously you are were interested uh, enough to get a hold of me and have you send some additional footage. Uh, as I was taking a picture of the charter boat, uh, I mean, as a ferry, here's a charter boat to uh, Victoria that was just leaving, probably has 50 people on board. Um, and here is me saying goodbye to the slow season as it uh, sets in a harbor and uh, on a very nice day in Washington State. I hope this uh, video tour was helpful for you. My name is Gary. 888-613-8893. God bless you. And the sun danced on the water as I left for home.